Hello everybody, Tommy Ruin here and welcome back to another video. I have always wanted to make hybrid classes, mixing warrior and rogue spells to create the ultimate class combos. And up till now I haven't really been able to do that, I mean Retail Wild doesn't allow you to do that and why would it? It would be so overpowered. Recently I stumbled across Ascension, a World of Warcraft private server that really satisfied that itch for me. Ascension is a progressive vanilla server based on the Wrath of the Lich King client, so as time goes by we will slowly make our way up to fight the Lich King, but right now we've got a whole lot of Molten Core to run. By fire be purged! On the server you play a hero, a versatile character capable of wearing any weapon, any armour and filling any role. And because you are so heroic you don't have to listen to what Blizzard thinks you should put your stat points in and you can instead decide how you want to stat your character. So if you want to go all out stamina then you can. If you want to go all out spirit you're very stupid but you can. As you level up you get this currency called ability essences and every two levels you can spend these on spells that are appropriate for your level from any class. As the hero you have access to all three resource bars, you have mana, you have energy and you have rage. You also have a hunger bar which depletes over time and causes you to starve, so you have to eat food to maintain your hunger. Your character also comes kitted out with a sprint and a rest function. The sprint is an energy ability and it drains your energy over time for a 30% speed increase. The rest ability allows you to regen your mana and your health slowly. You start with three basic spells, Arcane Bolt, Quick Shot and Strike, each using a different resource to cast. Strike is a rage spender, Quick Shot a energy spender and Arcane Bolt a mana spender. Now for me the game gets really interesting when you hit level 2 because that is when you can make your first choice. What is your build going to be like? You gain your second ability essence and you can choose your first spell. To do this you open up the custom menu which the Ascension team have made. It's essentially a spellbook, the spellbook of spellbooks containing every spell you'd ever want to know. You'll notice that a lot of spells are greyed out and that is because you don't have the level requirement to use them. This means that as you level up you get more powerful spells and you feel that real power creep as you get higher level. Once you've chosen your spell you simply have to click learn. Uh, in this video I chose Raptor Strike which was a mistake but I'll get onto that later. Um, you just click learn and then it appears in your spellbook under the tab for that spec. Uh, unfortunately you do have to go to trainers to rank up your spell, so if you choose a rainbow build covering every different class, you will have to visit a lot of trainers to learn your rank up skills. When you level up you also get stat points which you can put into anything that you desire. If you think that you made a mistake with your choices you can reset. Uh, you get three free resets when you start your character and then once those are used up you have to pay and the pay scales up per level. So. It could start something like 30 silver, but when you get to level 60 it will be an extortionate amount, so making the right decisions really counts. So I realised that Mo uh, Raptor Strike hits like a wet noodle, and I decided that I wanted to try something new. So you go onto the little icon below the spellbook um, icon, and you click reset. This refunds all the ability essences you've used, and you are free to respend them once again. And you can also do this for talents when you start spending talent points. So what are the PvE experience and the leveling experience like? Well, the leveling experience is like new again. You are basically playing a new game where you make all the decisions. So when you are leveling up you can choose what kind of character you want to be. Do you want to be a tanky character? Do you want to be a pet character? Do you want to be a caster? You can make all these decisions and it directly influences how you play the game. Every two levels you really have to think about what ability you're going to choose. Do you need some utility? Do you need another damaging ability? You really have to think on the spot about what you're going to do because at the moment there are no predetermined builds about what's best and what's worst. On my main character I'm running a build I've called Frosty Paws and Ferocious Claws which is a feral druid that runs with frost brand attack and it's working quite well for me but other people like to choose other things it is a completely unique leveling experience because you are going to be doing something different to somebody else due to the server being in closed beta there are a few bugs with certain spells and some spells are more appealing than others such as sinister strike with a two-handed weapon that seems to be a very popular attack but they are making changes and are constantly tuning things 
At the moment there is a 20% nerf on melee abilities to make casters more viable and that is something which in my opinion is a very good change because there should be a diversity of classes for people to play. You should be able to choose whatever you want and it should be viable. The EXP rates seem a little higher than they would do in vanilla because we are running on a Wrath of the Lich King server but overall the leveling pace is quite quick and you feel like you're making good progress whenever you log on and the incentive of getting those two levels to get a new spell is very very attractive. Uh, the drop rates seem to be quite high, you seem to get quite a lot of blue items and green items as you're leveling and I think that really is quite a good thing because as I'll come on to later you seem to lose quite a lot of items quite easily. Dungeons are working very well with their custom scaling algorithm making them challenging whatever level you go into them. It's great to see a wide variety of classes and specs attempting these dungeons and seeing how different people take on the custom class building challenge. I've heard from many level 60s that the dungeons at max level are quite well tuned. You can't solo most things like you were able to in vanilla as certain classes but you can do it as a group and one thing which I really like about this server for these dungeon and group based content, you can have specialists that do certain roles as you would have in vanilla. So you used to have paladins as the buff class and they were great, but you could have the ultimate buff class now where you hand out buffs left, right and center. You can have an interrupt and a dispel class. You can have a utility class where you just send portals and summon and run really fast because you like doing that, you like running fast and if that's your thing then you can really do that here. Finally on the PvE side of things, items. On items you can get random buffs. These buffs are essentially talents which proc on the items so you might get the protection paladin talent that gives you plus 3% strength. You might get that affix on an item so you can have a pair of gloves which increase your strength by 3% and this happens for all the different types of talents. And what you want to do is, for your build, get the buffs which match your talents. And you can do this by using the Forge, which re-rolls the random buff which you have on an item. This system is very cool and it adds an extra level of complexity to your gearing. So, what about PvP? Ascension is a free-for-all PvP realm, which means that it's everyone against everyone. And the PvP is just the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. They have a special system that when you die, you drop loot. You drop your own gear that you are wearing to the enemy that killed you. So ganking is quite strong, a lot of people do that, but then there are people who go out and get the gankers. There is a lot of diversity on this server in terms of PvP. To lose your items you have to be within a 6 level range bracket, which to me personally is a little bit too big, I think 2 or 4 would be much better, because 6 levels is quite a power difference. You have access to different dungeons and access to different gear as well as higher level spells. So I think that the level bracket for dropping loot should be lowered. Guild alliances are the main thing which drives world PvP and free for all PvP because you join a guild because it gives you security on this server. You know that there are people which will back you up when there is a fight. And the incentive to back people up is that you will get some gear from it. You might get some of their best pieces of gear which is a really ridiculous system but it works so well. The other day my little brother got ganked in um, when we were leveling in Ashenvale and on guild chat people were like oh shit we're coming we got your back bro and we had like a little team a little strike team to go and hunt down this guy who killed him and get his gear back it was just the most ridiculous and unique experience I've ever had in WoW because you are doing it for a purpose and not only do they drop gear but you get XP for player kills as well which is something which I think was introduced in the retail game, I'm not quite sure, but you can level up by PvP. And the XP is quite high as well, so there is a massive incentive to partake in world PvP. But if that's not your thing, and you just like the classless server idea, then you can play on their PvP realm which does not drop gear. Unfortunately, I think it is still free for all PvP, but you can go and you can level, and if you do get killed, you don't drop any gear and you do not lose out in that respect. So, in summary, what I like about the PvE is the random item procs which you get. I love the classless system. I think choosing your abilities makes for a unique experience in WoW. And to summarise the PvP, the guild fights are amazing and guild combat is so much fun. 
Going out into the world and seeing other people makes it exciting, and not only that, it gives XP and loot. But unfortunately, if you're on the other end of it, you lose a lot of gear, and trying to rebuild your character afterwards is not much fun. Uh, and also, the level bracket to be ganked is quite high. Now a few things to point out before I end this video, the server still is in closed beta and so the population is quite restricted. There are about 100 people online most of the time, which is a small amount but you still get active PvP and dungeon groups going. I think a few people were concerned about this is the fact that the key selling and the account creation selling has now been finished from the people who have made the server. I definitely think this is the right way to go as I think charging people for a uh, closed beta key is rather ridiculous and I'm glad to see that they're making steps in the right direction in that respect. The people who are in charge have recently taken over from the previous guy and they seem to know what they're doing, they know what the people want and they really want to have it finished themselves. I will be making a video soon on how you can connect to the server but for now make sure to sign up to the discord channel so you can get started straight away. Thank you very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all very soon.